an essential accessory for filmmakers, video makers, one that is easy to deploy, that you can use right away. It never disappoints, it always does the job. Of course, I'm talking about video tripods and not just any video tripods, two of my favorite tripods at the moment made by Benro. This is part two of a series of videos where I talk about my favorite, favorite camera movements. Without further ado, let's jump into this. was all about using my use of gimbals and right now I'm in a phase where I'm kind of pulling back from from all of that so many tools available right now that can help us tell our stories to a point where it can be overwhelming so why do I even use a tripod as of today I do it for only one reason it all happens in the frame what I mean is that sometimes a complicated camera movement especially fast ones can be confusing and can hurt what you really want to say. When the camera stays still or does very little movements, it forces the audience to concentrate on every detail in the frame and focus much more quickly on what's happening there. I've been working with dancers, performers the past three years, and when looking at these videos right now, I sometimes feel that a simple pan and tilt movement with my camera on a tripod would have been a much better choice. I mainly used a tripod for two short dance films I made with Jessica, and looking at them today, I still wouldn't do things differently. This approach is the one I'm most comfortable with. I feel there are many parallels I can make with my photography work. Both of my video heads and tripods are from Benro. Two different heights, of course, with interchangeable plates for a quick change. quality of your video heads is essential if you wish to make smooth shots. Whether you are filming with a light or heavy setup, tripods can adapt and offer a smooth experience every time. So every time I want to emphasize a performance in front of my camera, I now usually use a tripod. Simple compositions sometimes are enough to let the viewer enjoy a performance without the distraction of an unnecessary movement. Mm -hmm. 
just a simple pan for a calm opening. A simple shot to introduce a character. And usually where space is lacking, I opt for a tripod and a few handheld shots. By the way, on the blog, I just posted an article with the original video, this video, plus two full performances, alternate takes of Angelina's work, just to show you a little bit further how these videos are actually made. I chose Benro because of the obvious quality of their products. I had Manfrotto tripods before and didn't have a great experience with them over time. I just kept a Manfrotto video head that I bring with me anytime, every time I need a third video head. Otherwise, I only bring these two and use this Benro head with other accessories when I don't need the legs. Our first video with Jess was entirely made with a tripod except two shots made handheld. Think twice before purchasing fancy gimbals or other accessories for your camera. These might be all you need for your next project. I'm almost done with the update of my website that should go live by the end of this month. Like every year, things will never change. I am late. I really hope that you had a better start than me. I guess that I will catch you in the next one. Until then, take care and please have a good one.